Hi, and welcome to a day of life as a mortician. That's me. And here I am running 15 minutes late, disappointed, not surprised, but the first thing I did was took the garbage pails in because responsibility. I unlocked the funeral home and I had a very busy day, so I got right to it, turning on all the lights. I had a funeral going out this morning, so it was important to make sure the place looked good. I dropped my stuff and I continued to turn on more lights. Uh, this particular funeral was actually an urn, but the family was gonna come in and pay their final respects in the morning, so I turned on the candles and made the room look nice for them. I then ran right up to the office and took care of some pretty urgent stuff. Ordering graves, ordering church services, flowers, obituaries, you know what I mean? Anyway, I got interrupted pretty quickly because my casket delivery showed up, so I ran upstairs, I got him a tip money because, you know, well, he deserved it. And together we brought in two caskets. Again, time management, so I took those flowers out, moved the beer out of the way, and I sent the casket right down. I had a decedent who needed to be dressed, and I was having a very busy day, and this was the best time. I ran downstairs, I got the casket ready, uh, prepped that, and then I put on some PPE. This is what I wear when I dress in casket. And I know a lot of people ask how I put the decedent in the casket, I use that lift right there. Because I had PPE on, I decided to also wash the tables. I degarbed and washed my hands. That's important. I grabbed some rosaries and a crucifix because I'm gonna use them later. I then made my way upstairs where I took a phone call and I took so many phone calls today. Back to the office, getting things done, drinking some coffee, and then my hearse arrived. Together we loaded up, I took the flowers, and we made our way to the cemetery. We had a beautiful graveside service and the weather was beautiful. And I just love these cemetery roads. Anyway, came back to the funeral home, put the hearse plates away, went back to the office to do, you guessed it, more paperwork. I had to go to the airport to pick up a decedent, so I got that paperwork, extra tip money, and I made my way downstairs to grab the van keys. At the van, I took the stretcher out because it just gives me more space, but I actually kind of forgot the house stretcher, so I grabbed that and put that away too. Made my way into the minivan, put my stunner shades on, put the tunes on, and um, I drove and sat in a lot of traffic. So I took in the views. I mean, come on, beautiful airport, right? Uh, made my way to the cargo station, did my paperwork, picked up my decedent, and we were good to go. Came back to the funeral home, grabbed the church truck. So what I do is I line that church truck right up with the car and I'm able to pull the box out. I then sent that decedent downstairs and I got right to cleaning. So I put away the candles and everything else. I had to move some furniture because again, the room was set up for an urn and now I needed it to be set up for a casket. Again, time management, so important. I even narrow this down to when the lift is up and down and even walking from one side of the room to the other. Here I am raising the crucifix, bringing that furniture back, bringing the beer up. The beer is the piece of furniture we place the casket on. Uh, brought the casket up and because I'm by myself, I use what I call jacks and that allows me to put the casket on the beer by myself. And that's me doing that. I took a lot of time making sure everything was lined up and straight, but I cut all that out because it was a really long time. Put the casket in position and then I changed out those board signs because you don't want the wrong deceased name in the room. Set up the register book and the prayer cards and then I got right to cosmetics. So this is how I have my cosmetics set up. I use a table and a chair. The chair works great because you can place the curling iron on there. Uh, put some gloves on and did some cosmetics. Right after that, I decided to put the van back in place, put the stretcher back in the van because that's important and pick up all the funeral parking signs from this morning. I cleaned the bathrooms. Yes, I cleaned toilets and I did the floors. Bathrooms are used today, so they should be cleaned. I ran back up to the office. I just finished up some stuff, leaving some things for tomorrow and shut the office down. Hey, tomorrow's a new day. And honestly, every day in funeral service is so different and that's probably why I love this job so freaking much. Till tomorrow.